Hi and welcome back to the next video from Effective Maintenance Dashboards. This is Jason Davidson and today I am going to show you how to create a drill through. So a drill through is a connection to a, a drill through report, another report. Now you can drill through, this example here is going to be a drill through to a tab on the same report. Although you can actually drill through to a tab on another PBIX files, another Power BI report. But in this one, this video here, we're going to just focus on keeping it simple and drilling through to a tab on the same report. So we've got a backlog analysis dashboard here. We've got the total backlog figures here. We've got the backlog broken down by the criticality, by priority here, and then by grouping. And we want to be able to go and see the list of work orders that are underneath each of these different figures here. So I want to be able to go and drill through, for example, um, on this graph here, this column here, and look at what those 158 work orders are. Or I want to be able to drill through and get the list of work orders that make up this hours here, these hours here. So how do we do this? So the first thing we do is we need to create a target report. So I've already created a target report, and this is where the drill through is defined. So in the target report, this one here, is a report that's created as part of my free course that I'll leave a link to below this video on how to create a backlog analysis report or dashboard and this will talk you through this but essentially what you need to do is create a report and within that report you need to get the list of work orders somewhere and here's that list there and that list of work orders and information that's on here is going to be filtered when we drill through to the report based on the the value or the, the context that you click through to the report on. Okay, so that's going to be how we're going to, um, how it's going to work. So how do we set it up? The first thing we need to do is we need to understand which categories we want to enable the drill through for. So by that, I mean which category here. So if we go into this, this, um, this column chart here, we can see that this category here is work order priority. So we want to enable the drill through for work order priority. So let's go back here and we can see under the fields option there is, if we just click on the actual report itself, make sure we're on a, a blank page. Right, here we go, yep that's fine. We can see in here that there's a drill through area and we want to decide which fields are enabled here. So let's go and choose the work priority. And there it is here. And we add that in. We don't want any filters on here, so we'll get rid of that. And that should then, go back to home, enable an option here called drill through. And we should expect to see a list of the 158 work orders. So drill through work order details and here we can see those are the 158 work orders. This is the 1,150 hours. This is the number of work orders for each of those um, work types. Here's the list of work orders and here's the uh, schedule readiness table here. So it's really, really straightforward. You just enter the category here that you want to enable a drill through for. Now, if we go down to the count by days and backlog group, and we right click on here, we can see drill through is not activated. Now, the reason for that is that we've got no reports within this report. We've got no other reports which have got the days and backlog grouping as one of the drill through categories here. So let's go and add this in. So we have got a uh, days and backlog grouping. We'll add that in. And then we go to home. And we right click on here. And here we can see 109 work orders, 109 work orders. Now, as soon as you enable a, a, a report to, um, to be a drill through report, it will add one of these buttons here. And that, button can be used to go back to the previous report. So if you hold down control, it will take you back. And let's enable it for this value here. 
So this is going to be department and discipline. So we're going to go and add that in. Ah, I've added it to the wrong place. Hold on. It's actually in the work order details. Remember, it's a target report that you need to add this. In here. And we'll add discipline as well. So let's go back to the home page. And let's go and check out what the list of work orders are for the these ones here. So if I click on here, we can see it's available. And we can see that that 118 hours is made up of one work order. Here's the this would be the description. This is just dummy data there. And um, yeah, we can click this to go back. So that has added in the department as well as the discipline. So for the matrix, the drill through will take each of the categories that's in there. So mechanical and operations. So let's just see that again. Right click on here, drill through. And we can see that the filters have been taken as being department is operation and discipline is mechanical. And they're pre-applied here to this target report. Okay, so hopefully that's helped you to understand exactly how easy it is to enable a drill through. I need to just remove it from here because we've added it onto that um, this, this page here and we don't want it on there. And um, yeah, we can cover cover the, the drill through and, and, and you can go and interpret the data that sits underneath each one of these. Simply right click on it, drill through and then select the report. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.